Did you know Portugal is in the midst of a tech revolution that could see it become one of the world's leading digital economies, leapfrogging European rivals like the UK and Germany? Its startup ecosystem is booming with over 4,700 registered, which is a 16% increase on last year. Thanks to its strategic location on the Atlantic, this small European country has become incredibly important as a location for the convergence of undersea cables that serve all of Europe. Recently at Web Summit, one of the world's leading tech conferences hosted in Lisbon, the Prime Minister of Portugal has announced a state-level large language model, which is, to the best of my knowledge, the first of its kind anywhere in the world. So in this video, we're going to discover and explore why Portugal, a relatively small European nation, is punching well above its weight in terms of technology and why other major European players are struggling to keep up. So first of all, Portugal's new large language model. This is more than just a small tech innovation. Designed specifically for the Portuguese, this large language model is going to help students study and it's going to help the rest of the population have much easier access to government services. Seems like a really smart application of large language model technology to me. But the fact that they're even thinking about deploying this, the most powerful technology of our generation, rather than how to regulate it out of existence, shows just how far ahead of the rest of Europe Portugal really is. This large language model launch is a major milestone, in my opinion, and it's also a signal of intent that Portugal wants to build on the latent startup ecosystem and the digital infrastructure that it's already building to lead on the technologies of the future. And so what about these undersea cables? Portugal's geographic position, and Lisbon in particular, means that it faces the Atlantic Ocean, where all of the subsea cables coming from South and North America converge. It means it really is the gateway to Europe for data, and around 25% of the world's data flows directly through Portugal. Subsea cables like Ella Link connect Europe directly with South America, and others coming up in future aim to reduce latency from North America as well. Now, it's really hard to overstate how important this geographical location is because it means that anyone building a data center near to this point of convergence of information coming across the world has access to that data just before the whole rest of Europe. Now, granted, it's only fractions of a second or fractions of a fraction of a second, but in areas like finance and crypto, these fractions offer real advantages especially in things like high frequency trading and other time sensitive financial operations where microseconds can make a real difference. If you layer on top of that, the power of AI making sense of all of this information coming through fractions of a second before the AI in London or Frankfurt or Paris, you can start to build a picture of how there is going to be a competitive advantage to being right next to that data flow, understanding the data that's coming through immediately and then placing financial transactions based on that information. So the outlook for Portugal, given all of this, is incredibly strong. Layer on top of that, the fact that they are a peaceful country, they rate very highly on the Global Peace Index, IT services broadly already contribute 10% of the country's GDP, investors are going to start looking at Portugal as an increasingly major player. Now, while Portugal is building out this increasingly resilient digital infrastructure, the UK, currently the European capital of data, is struggling on almost all fronts. High land costs, limited grid access, and local resistance mean that it's increasingly difficult to build data centers around London where they're most needed. And even with its recent designation as critical national infrastructure, things continue to move very slowly. Add on top of that the fact that energy costs in Britain are higher than almost anywhere else in the world, even the data centers that do get built are going to be much more economically difficult to run. And it's not just the Web Summit conference in Portugal that is leading the way on these conversations. They also hosted the, the Atlantic Convergence Conference this October, bringing together leaders in all of the industries that we've already touched on, like undersea cables, like data centers, and things like satellites as well. 
So altogether, Portugal's investments in things like data centers, coupled with its geographic location being so advantageous, it's currently genuinely positioned as Europe's future tech leader. With its own localized state level large language model, rapidly growing infrastructure, and a really proactive approach to global interconnection, Portugal is well on its way to challenging incumbent countries like the UK and Germany in the race to become Europe's digital superpower. Anyway, that's what I think. Are you Portuguese? Have you been to Portugal? Are you interested in European technology? Well, I would love to hear what you think in the comments. Thank you for sticking with me this far. I'll see you next time.